Hey everyone, Tenebra Invictus here. I'm joined by Ven behind the camera, and this time we're looking at LEGO Set 80019, Red Sun's Inferno Jet. This set has 299 pieces, retails for about $34.99 USD, and is a LEGO Store exclusive once again. The set comes with three minifigures, comes with Monkey Kid, Bob, and Red Sun. I didn't realize it until later, but these minifigs have the exact same printing as they did in the first wave. I don't know for sure about the alternate printing on the back of the head, but let's get these guys out of here and show off Bob. Bob's got a little more gear than his fellow Demon Bull henchmen. Because there's no spider theming to it, and the fact that MK has headphones, feels like this is a little holdover from last season. Because all the other sets, as you'll see as we get through all of them, MK's has got a different neck piece. Before I get into sharing my thoughts on the set though, I did want to say this build wasn't all that exciting. I'm a bad builder, and I did forget a crucial 2x2 tile in the middle of building, but there wasn't anything that really stuck out to me while I was assembling the set. I've got some mixed feelings about this set, because it's got some really cool features on it, but at the same time it lacks a little aesthetically. So part of what makes me feel so-so about this set is that while I really like the shaping and the look of the jet, at the same time, part of it feels bare. There's a lot of studs being shown on this side, there's some sticker work at the front, but then not really anything else. It's really hard to feel like there's much going on with the set. But the saving grace, kind of what balances it out, is that at the front, you can open this up and there's two spring-loaded shots that you can put into it. Or, not shots, but... Um... Yeah, it doesn't help that there's nothing in there right now. <laughs> then... Where are they? They're orange, right? I feel like some of that could should be in. <laughs> so then you load the shots in, and this thing turns into a freaking hand cannon. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> See how you like it. Ah. Ah. Oh. So that's kind of where my headspace is at. I really do like the design of the jet. I like the flair that's added to it with the, these front parts and also the flames coming out. But at the same time, it still just feels a little bare. I really like this little set piece of nature that's right here with MK. But at the same time, while I like the set piece, I feel like some of the parts that were put into it could have been redistributed to make the jet have a little more flair to it. But, on second thought, I don't want to desecrate the home of this frog tucked away behind the waterfall. So Ben, what do you think of this set? Hmm. I feel like I've seen this set before, but bigger and cooler. Who are you? I'm you, but affordable. That about wraps up my thoughts on Red Sun's Inferno Jet. It's a cool gun in a way. I really like the opening up the hatch and loading in the spring-loaded bolts and being able to fire it off. It's got a really crazy trigger. I also really like the waterfall, but feels like maybe some of the pieces could be shuffled here and there to make a more definitive set for Red Sun. And I'm also confused about where it fits in with this upcoming story, if it even fits in with the Spider Queen story or if it's actually a set that's a bit of a holdover from last season. I don't know, but in the end, cool set. So if you have this set, or if you've only just seen it from this review, what do you think of it? Be sure to comment about it, be sure to like this video, and also subscribe to our channel for more Monkey Kid content, and we'll see you in the next Monkey Kid review.